cool read and uh fun fact this has got a little spider ham advertisement in the background i don't know if that's the first appearance or or not or whatever i don't know just really cool to see spider ham before spider ham actually came out anyway let's get into this week's comics of the week that i'm going to be picking up um these aren't comics that i'm speculating on these aren't comics that i see other people doing these are comics that are on my pull list or the majority of them are on my pull list but i'm going to walk in and just grab them like one of these books this week are not on my pull list but i've been hearing so much about the first issue that i just wanted to go and grab the second one and i'll probably see the first one there because i've been seeing it the last few weeks so let's jump into it <laughs> boom winter soldier um i picked up the first one i really liked it put it on my pull list i enjoyed the second one and i think i'm gonna enjoy this third one and i like this cover now the cover is right here and it's, i just i put everything on my monitor just so i could let me know which comic is coming next in my list um but there are no order there are no order of best to worst or, or worst to best but yeah this looks like a pretty damn good comic <laughs> um in case you guys are writing, the writer is Kyle Higgins, and the artist is Rob Reese. Um, it's a little bit harder for me to follow all the writers and artists. Um, I know the major players in the game, so it's kind of... I don't know if this is a major player or not, but I figured maybe if you guys knew those artists or you knew that writer, you might want to jump in and check this book out. Move it along. Boom. Now, this is a book that's not on my pull list. This is Criminal Number 2, coming out of Image Comics, I believe. Um, Image has been pumping out pretty good books lately. Um, still waiting for Middle West to come out. I think it comes out in um, next month. Um, but yeah, Criminals Number 2. Um, I've been hearing it's a really gritty, kind of like a Sin City, almost like a really gritty adult comic book. Not adult, like in... But like adult, you know, like you don't want your 12 year old to read this book. Um, so the writer is Ed Burbaker and the illustrators are Sean Phillips and Jacob Phillips, the Phillips brothers. I don't know if that's true. Don't take my word for it, <laughs> but that'd be pretty cool, you know. Um, all right, moving along. Let's see what we got next. Okay, now I see a lot of people pointing out the virgin cover b or even the cover c i feel like now i don't like to buy comics based on covers although sometimes i do a few times i do <laughs> a lot of the times i do um i feel like people are sleeping on this specific color this color this cover which the cover the color is nice oh man my words are like a tongue twist um but it's so cool to see Half of his face in human and half of it engulfed in flame. Uh, like he's turning into him and like that process captured. And then you got Alex Ross doing the freaking artwork and it just looks beautiful. Um, now this is a uh, Marvel annotated. Uh, this is the number one. Um, it looks like it's a celebration of the 25th anniversary um, of something. I'm not exactly sure. I'm more of a DC connoisseur. If I use that word properly. Um, I don't know too much about Marvel. I haven't seen any of the Avengers. I haven't seen... I think I've seen the first two Iron Men. I've seen the first Captain America. I've seen the first Thor. There's so many movies. I need to just stack them all up. Spend the weekend and blow by them. Um, and maybe that'll motivate me to go and get more Marvel comics. Or if, if I get some AOKs with some Marvel comics. I probably would read them. And I might enjoy them. So, moving forward. So, yes. Pick this cover up. I would pick this cover up. I'm going to pick this cover up, which is why I'm always the first one at my comic shop, or I try to be. Oh, Detective Comics 998. Oh, pushing through almost at a thousand. Wow, this is my book. You got your 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 um your comic fans out there, people who love their their Superman or people who love their Green Lantern or people who love their Captain America. I love Batman, not just any Batman specifically detective comics batman and i love this cover this is an amazing cover um who's doing this cover um i'm not even sure uh <laughs> uh let's see okay it's a frank uh what gary frank yeah it's a gary frank cover um it looks really cool man it just really looks really cool i love the gargoyles on the side of it um, and in the middle on the side, it, it's a really cool thing. And then you got the gargoyles going around the window of the chapel. 
very very cool and then moving along to the next one is the a cover the regular cover um it's cool it's a nice cover i enjoy it it's nice um i think it's mendoza now i just like the regular covers of these i think it started at 994 um or 992 something like the early 990s they they had the countdown to a thousand which is why i'm picking those up along with the variants i usually won't pick up both covers unless there's a specific reason like this which is a countdown to a thousand comics i mean for god's sakes the comics started back in the what the 1930s that's insane um now it's at a thousand issues <sighs> wow also i didn't put anything up here because i haven't seen any of the images Detective Comics 994, 995, and 996. They were all kind of like key issues. There was um, crazy stuff going in. There was a, a, a pretty big character that was murdered, killed. Um, they're reprinting, doing a second printing. They haven't released the cover image yet. So I already ordered them off Midtown because I have the original ones. I love the original ones. And I'm sure I love these. Um, so yeah moving along uh all right this is pretty cool um this is the cover by <laughs> i know i'm talking smack about buying comics for the covers but here's my foot in my mouth um yeah this is freaking uh, you got beast boy just he's holding up his body like oh my god this is a really cool cover um this is titans number 34 uh this is actually the regular cover there's a b variant but it's not very action-packed it's not really it's just yeah it's a regular cover um so i think if you're gonna do anything pick up the regular copy i don't know why people always just buy the variants and just ignore the regular copies the regular issues like cover a's they're they're pretty cool like that harley quinn that came out last week everyone went nuts about the the digitized variant and it would have been cool to have i understand why people like it but the first freaking cover with Batman and she's dressed up in like her own type of Robin outfit. Oh my God, that's a freaking awesome cover, dude. And no one's talking about it. Moving along. <laughs> okay, Wonder Woman. Now, this is not on my pull list, but I, haven't been re I have been reading Wonder Woman since like the witch, um, some witch crap that was happening. I wasn't really paying attention. I read a few issues. I like the cover work on those. And this is just one of those things. This is a B variant. Um, it's freaking amazing, man. I, I If you guys can pick this cover up, pick this cover up. Um, I feel like this is going to be one of those covers that are going to be very hard to find. Or you're going to be paying a pretty nice premium on, on eBay. Um, it, it's it's really nice. Who did this? This is a variant by uh, Stanley Art Germ. Okay, it's an Art Germ cover. Um, yeah. Without saying. Wow. Oh, this is the uh, Avengers. I just scratched my ear. <laughs> Avengers No Road Home number one, cover C. <laughs> There's another cover by. Um, I don't have any Avengers, but it's a number one. So it, it's a cover by, but it's also the start of a new series. So I kind of want to poke into it because I don't have any Avengers. I got West Coast Avengers that I picked up if you see my last video. But that was it for my Avengers list. And I haven't seen the movies. So... I figured, you know, this is a really cool cover. Why not get it? It's number one. It's probably going to give me some backstory. I'll probably be able to read along and pay attention and know what's going on. So, yeah. If you guys are interested in it, I would pick it up. I mean, I'm picking it up. Okay, this is this is Dead Man Logan. I pre-ordered it. I'm very happy that I did. This is sold out. I think it was a 1 in 25. Selling for $25. At, that's the base value. 25 bucks. This cover is sick, and not just the cover, the story has been amazing. Since the first issue, I was like, oh my god, I need more and more and more. And now we're at number four. This cover is really cool. Uh, I've been seeing I've been seeing eBay sold prices between 30 to 50 maybe $60. But I'm seeing prices currently on eBay that people are trying to get rid of them for 100 bucks, 150 all the way to 200 There's bids that are passing $50 a pop. So if you could get this book under $50, I would recommend to get it. Or even under $40, I wouldn't buy it over $50 for right now because I'm pretty sure this is just going to spike right now. It'll probably drop off later, uh, but I am not a financial consultant or comic book consultant. This is just my two cents. Um, so, yeah. And I don't want to butcher this artist's name, but Zafino. Zafino. There you go. And then the regular cover. I'm 
I ordered the, the variant online, so I'm going to pick up the regular cover just so I could go ahead and read it tomorrow because it is a really good read. And I think it's a really good story, and you guys should probably pick it up and read it if you're not already doing so. Definitely a pull this by. And move it along. Batman Who Laughs. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's reading this right now. This is amazing. Um, I think this cover might be sold out online. I'm not sure. It's a really nice cover. And the story has just been picking up, picking up. This is number three. This is a cover by who? Um, Fredici. A Fredici. Um, yeah, this is a super sick cover. I enjoy it. It's very nice. And then the regular cover A. Um, I'm a sucker for Batman Who Laughs. The first one, I have all the covers for it. I even have the like the Midtown exclusives and a couple uh, other comic shop exclusives. Just because I really like Batman Who Laughs. And then I read the first issue and I was just like, wow, this is amazing. Like I didn't see anything coming. Every other page I was turning, I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, what is this? So yeah, definitely check out Batman Who Laughs because I, I mean, you probably already are. <laughs> so anyway, I've been rambling on. So let me cut this off. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys watched. Thumbs up, like, subscribe if you want to. You don't have to. I just like doing this for fun. Um, yeah, and if you check out my Instagram, I usually post there daily or multiple times a day. New comics I get um, or previews to my YouTube videos. So yeah, see you later.